Let us look at an interesting problem: the minimum cost tree from leaf values. Here is a description. We get an array. Those array represents the uh, uh, tree leaves. So for this array, we have two kinds of tree arrangements, but uh, their leaves are five, two, three, and five, two, three from left to right. And we have two constraints about the uh, binary tree. First of all, each node can only have a, a pair of nodes or no node at all. Uh, one node, uh, uh, one children node is not allowed. And um, the second uh, constraint is the non-leaf node is calculated by the leaf value. Uh, for example, um, this node. The value is calculated with the maximum left uh, uh, tree, uh, maximum leaf in the left branch, and the maximum leaf on the right branch. Their product is this value. For this node, the maximum uh, leaf on the left is five. The maximum leaf on the right is three. So the product is fifteen. This tree obeys the same rule. For this node, the maximum. Uh, leaf on the left, maximum leaf on the right, would give us six. For this node, maximum max maximum leaf on the left and maximum leaf on the right, give us fifteen. Okay, and uh, our goal is achieve the lowest cost. The cost is defined by the sum of those uh, non-leaf nodes. For this tree. The non-leaf nodes add up to 26. For this tree, the non-leaf nodes add up to 21, and 21 is lower than 26. So this is the tree structure we are looking for, and we return 21 as our answer. And、uh, this arrangement looks like strange at the first place. Why we want to calculate the、uh, node's value by the leaf value, right? And actually, this kind of a problem have a practical application. Say we are、uh, imagine we are the organizer of a tournament for n players. No matter it is a video game, it is a, a soccer game or chess game. At、uh, each match, we eliminate one player, and、uh, each match have two players involved. And、uh, how much cost we need to pay? For the match, it depends on how good the two players are. If they are both weak players, we probably pay、uh, less. If they are both good national level、uh, players, we probably pay a lot of money. So multiply their goodness. It's probably one of the price model. We add them.、Uh, it's also a reasonable price model, but、uh, the trending is the same. The cost we pay for each match depend on、uh, the goodness of both players, right? And、uh, how we want to arrange those matches so that the total、uh, cost we pay for those matches are minimized.、Uh, one observation we have is no matter what kind of arrangements we have,、uh, the weakest player will get eliminated. Uh, in the next match, right? So let's follow the weakest player.、Uh, in this case, the weakest player is one, and there are many matches、um, it can have. But、uh, the constraint tell us it can only match with uh, uh, left or right neighbors. And、uh, <coughs> let's take a look at the, the diagram.、Uh, imagine we haven't、uh, eliminated any player yet. So the weakest player,、uh, one, will be eliminated in the next、uh, game, and there is、uh, since it don't have left neighbor, the only match it could have is with a player two. So in this、uh, next game, player one is eliminated. The cost will be one multiplied two, and、uh, the next weakest player is two. In the next match, it will be eliminated, and、uh, according to our rule. The left pair is already getting eliminated. There is only 
one a matcher it could uh, possibly pick, which is player five. So in the next game, player two is eliminated. The cost is two multiply five. Then uh, player three will be eliminated in the next game. And uh, there are two choices for player three. Either uh, he pick player four or pick player six. Uh, if pick player four, the cost will be three multiply four. If uh, pick six, the cost will be higher. So in order to minimize the matching cost, we pick the uh, weaker player between the two neighbors. So we pick uh, four and we get layer three eliminated. And uh, this is now again uh, player four and player six now became neighbors because player three is out of the game. Uh, in the next match, player four will get eliminated, and there are two choices: five and six. Um, we choose five because the match will have lower cost. We we don't choose six for the same reason, and now uh, player four is eliminated. Finally, player five and player six uh, matches with cost uh, 30. And finally, player six became the champion. And uh, we claim this process will give us the lowest uh, uh, matching cost overall. The reason is for player one, um, there are uh, many possible matches, and this is the lowest cost because if we choose other matches, for example, we have these two neighbors match first, we get two eliminated, and uh, then five and one became neighbor, and the, in order to eliminate player one, the cost will be one uh, multiplied five will be higher than uh, one plus two. So for player one, this is the lowest possible cost to get player one eliminated. Okay. Let's examine uh, player two. Uh, if we are not have two and five match, instead we have somebody match five and get a, uh, get a five eliminated first. For example, have five and six somehow match first and uh, get a five eliminated. Then player two have to match a better player, which increases the uh, cost. So for player two, this is the lowest possible match it could possibly, uh, possibly have. We can apply the same argument to player three. If we are not choosing player four, instead we choose player six, the cost will be higher. If someone eliminated player four in order to match player three, the cost will also be higher. So this is the lowest possible match, the lowest cost possible match for player three. For player four, we have the same argument. For player five, we have the same argument. For player six, we have the same argument. So for each player, we eliminated them with the lowest possible cost matches. So globally, we achieve the lowest possible matches to eliminate it, uh, all the players except the champion. So this is a, um, this is a working algorithm. Uh, if you are a game player, uh, you better to remember this arrangement because it's not just uh, not only just achieve the minimum cost, it probably also achieves the uh, uh, highest watching rates because this arrangement favors uh, close matches. Now we know how the matching arrangement works. Let's see how the code works. Um, First, we have an array to store all the players still in the game. And uh, then we start to play in this while loop. Uh, after each matching, we eliminate one player from the, from the uh, matching array. Uh, in order to eliminate that uh, player, we first find that player. We find the global minimum. Then we compare its left neighbor and right neighbor. We find a smaller neighbor and uh, arrange the match with the current uh, uh, weakest player. And we add the cost. So let's take a look at the find minimum. Find minimum is uh, 
we loop through the array and we find a global minimum. And uh, in order to find a minimum neighbor, we just compare the two neighbors on the left and right. We find the uh, less the less one. If there's no left neighbor, we return the right neighbor. Otherwise, uh, there's no right neighbor. We return the left neighbor. At the end, we remove that uh, um, losing player. Finally, we return the cost. The cost is guaranteed to be the lowest. Just by argument about those players, each player has the lowest uh, cost to match. Uh, globally, we achieve the lowest cost. And uh, the program has the time complexity O n square because the outer loop n change from n to uh, to one. In the inner loop, in order to find the global minimum, the cost is O n. So totally, the two layers of loops cost us O n square, and we don't have actual array. We modify the original game player uh, array, so our space cost is O one.